Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are fine at your home. Today we will start a second chapter which is more on Windows 7. In this we will see a lot of things like accessories of the Windows 7 and what is the Windows 7, what are the different kinds of the accessories which we are having as a Windows 7. When we see the, uh, the chapter name, then the first question occurs, what is Windows 7? So, the Windows 7 is the operating system. It is a popular operating system which we are using. Now, what is the operating system? Operating system helps us to access and operate the computer. Like, whenever we are having the, all the hardwares, like a keyboard, your mouse and the monitor but if we are not having the operating system then you will not able to start the hardware so, so the operating system helps you to start the computer so many there are many kinds of the operating system we are having like Windows, Mac, Linux, Unix and etc. Who is the founder of the Windows? Paul Allen and Bill Gates. Now next question, what is the latest version of the Windows? This is the Windows 10. Now next, what is the accessories? Accessories means tools, the additional tools which we are having, right? The operating system is giving us a different kind of the features as a accessories. Now, like the examples are Notepad, Windows Media Player, Sound Recorder, Calculator and Wordpad. These are the additional fun uh, functions which are given by the operating system which we are having the uh, Windows 7. Okay, now the first accessory is, is Windows Media Player. The Windows Media Player help you to play and organize the any kind of the files like audio, video. Now you are able to listen radio state, uh, stations with the help of the Windows Media Player. You are able to copy the music or any kind of the data which are available in the CD and a DVD. Then you are able to create your own CD if you want to copy the data from your computer uh, to your CD then it will create a new CD for you. So these are the different different functions which you are able to create with the help of the Windows Media Player. Now rip CD to your computer whenever you want to copy the CD. Uh, data which is available in your CD uh, and you want to copy it in your computer then this kind of the process is known as the RIP okay the steps are first click on the start button then you will get the option all programs in this you will get the option Windows Media Player when you will get the this option when you are clicking on it you will get this uh, this uh, screen and the, this is the screen of the Windows Media Player and this you are able to see that here we are having the one option which is the RIP CD and this is for the select all whenever you want uh, all the songs to be uh, copied in your computer then you will uh, select here the all uh, it will select the all the songs which are available in your CD but if you want a selected songs then you will click on these kind of the different different boxes okay then they, this will select a selected items which you want to copy then after the selection just click on the rip CD then it will transfer this data to your computer so this process is known as the rip cd to your computer now next topic is copying data to cd so whenever you want to copy the data 
from your computer to the CD. That process is known as the burning CD. Here I am having the steps how to burn the CD. First insert the new CD and then you will get the one dialog box. Just select on the burn file to the CD. Then you will get the option enter the CD name. Just enter any name which you want and then click on the next button. Then you will go to the folder, the folder which you want to copy in your, uh, in your CD. Then just drop and down all the files which you want and then click on the burn to CD option. Then you will get all the data from your computer to your CD. So this is the steps for the how to burn the CD or about how to transfer the data from your computer to the CD. Now next topic is display two windows at a time. Like if you want to open the uh, PowerPoint as well as the Word file at the same time, you want to access the both things together, then how will you uh, do this? Then this option will help you to do uh, the both the things together. Like first of all open the word file then open the powerpoint after that go to the taskbar and then right click on the taskbar you will get the option show window side by side like here I am opening the this like uh, excel file. Now here I am having the excel file and then I am just uh, open the another file like, like windows office word ok now go to this taskbar you are able to see there at the bottom we are having the taskbar Right? right click on this you will get the show windows side by side see here here we are having the word file and in the text side we are having the excel file so this will help you to work on the both the files in the same time so this is the process how to how to uh, open the windows side by 